Hey everybody, Ben here with Fly Plugins. And today I want to show you how to create a template for your course units. One of the cool things about WP Courseware version 2.7 is that we released the uh, option to create templates for your course units. So today we're gonna just go ahead and take a look at, at how exactly that works. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do, I wanna go down into my course units and I'm gonna go ahead and just find a course unit that I wanna go ahead and uh, edit. And what I wanna point out is the course unit template meta box. This is new with WP Courseware 2.7. And you'll notice that I only have one option listed. The reason for that is that course units by default use the single.php template file from your theme. So if that's the only template file that applies to WP Courseware, which it is by default, uh, then that's the only template that's gonna be listed here. So if we want to create additional templates for our course units, we're gonna go ahead and have to create uh, a, additional template files. So one of the cool things that we did with uh, version 2.7 is we went ahead and added in uh, a sample template file. So you'll notice if you actually unzip the wpcourseware.zip file, you'll notice there's a file in here called template underscore sample dot text. And this is a very, very, very basic file that we created. And what I want you to pay attention to specifically is the header. The header is very important. Without this particular text right here, unit template name, WP Courseware will not find this template file. So you must have this particular header and in specifically unit template name. Now everything after the colon is actually the text that's gonna show up right here on your dropdown list. So if we go back to our, our sample text, I'm just gonna point out that uh, all you really need is a, is a basic loop uh, to actually display the course content. Um, I went ahead and just added a, a, a header in here and a footer. So one thing I did is I went ahead and downloaded single.php from the 2012 theme, uh, which, which I'm using as a, our, our little demonstration here. And you'll notice that uh, obviously there's, there's not uh, the same header up here. However, WP Courseware knows to look for this particular file first. If you are selecting use default template in your course unit. This is the file that is going to be used as the template for the course unit, the single.php. So one cool thing that you can do is you can actually grab all of this text and you can pop it into another file. In this file I called singleunit.php. Now you'll notice I took out the header information that single.php has and I added in unit template name then I went ahead and added full width with no sidebar you'll notice uh, there there was a sidebar down here just above the footer and I went ahead and removed that and so what I did is I gave it I gave it a, a name that would reflect that so it's full width no sidebar and just for fun I went ahead and created one more file called anything.php and, and the reason I called it anything.php is I wanted to point out that you can name these files anything you'd like. So anything.php will work just fine. Uh, again, you need to have the the header correct, is specifically unit template name. And again, I just added whatever as the title here just to point out that you can you can name it whatever you'd like. So I went ahead and created uh, these two template files. And so now what we want to do, we want to go ahead and upload these to our web server into our themes folder. So you'll notice here I'm using 2012. And so if I take single unit.php and I upload it right into the root of my 2012 theme and we go back over to our course unit and I refresh You'll notice now I have a full width with no sidebar template. And let's go ahead and try something else. So another thing I want to point out is that 
WP Courseware was engineered so that it, it will actually look one folder deep. So it'll actually look in any one of these folders for template files. So even if you create a new folder, for instance, if I created a folder called Course Templates, and we went ahead and added our anything.php file to that. We can go back to our uh, temp to our unit here, and we'll go ahead and refresh. And you'll notice I've got the whatever template, and you can apply either one of these templates to the course unit. And we can click update. So if I go ahead and click on the view course unit, obviously we're going to go ahead and uh, be able to see our course content. And if you remember on the whatever template, I added in the sidebar. And if we go back and we change that to the full width no sidebar and we view our course unit you'll notice there's no sidebar now it did not go full width because the cascading style sheet for this template has already been set probably with a fixed width for the page so we would have to go in and modify the cascading style sheet for for that however uh, we do see that we don't have the, the sidebar I just wanted to demonstrate that changing the template actually changes the template. And that concludes this video on how to create a template for your WP Courseware course units. Thanks for watching.